guys, we've got a special episode for you today. We're at one of the esteemed golf courses in South Africa, Pearl Valley. Look at that, on the Valdivie estate. What makes it even better, we joined by a rugby legend. 109 test caps, 37 as captain, John de Villiers. Thanks, John. It's, uh, it's awesome to be on the show. It's awesome to be here. I, I play uh, Pearl Valley quite often. It's a, it's a special place for me. I grew up in Pearl and live back in Pearl now as well. Um, I've got to know the staff pretty well as well and they always look after us. Uh, the golf is not great, but the views are always beautiful. The course is always in immaculate condition and always great to be here. So we're at the 13th, which is their signature hole. We've asked the golf director, Yaku Kutsia, to talk us through the, the hole and how we should try attempt to play it. Yeah, so Sean, it's uh, it's an easy par three. Uh, not the longest hole, probably playing around what? 100. <laughs> easy like, for you, Yaku, yeah. come on. 165 yeah. meters on no average. Either, you know? um, obviously, massive water on the right, bunk on the left, uh, but there is lots of space on the green for, for those that that uh, manage to find it. We've got prevailing wind coming off the, off the left, so if you do hit the fade, um, it's advisable. Bailouts, a little short down in the bunker. If you, if you can miss the bunker, it's easier to, to bail out short. Um, and then, yeah, two putt on the green. It's a, it's a pretty flat green. So if you do find the green, you've got a good chance to make the putt. Um, you can probably imagine it's not the most hole in one hole on the, on the golf course. Uh, but it's a beautiful vista. Um, it's always manicured beautifully. And uh, we've, we've done a lot of work on the hole to make it. Maybe to add as well, very tricky bunker shot. So if you can see, it, it slopes there. So obviously, you don't want to be in the back of that down slope bunker shot water to the right yeah. but then again your tee shot you're so scared of the water you usually do end up in the bunker yeah, so for that type tee shot but i yeah. mean uh got lots of skill in this in this in this group yes yeah, so i'm sure we'll up and down easily well steady on no pressure there it's a typical jack nicholas with a bunker actually yeah john are you ready bud uh, i don't think so <laughs> you know people always say what's more daunting you know playing the all blacks facing the all blacks or your first tee shot uh, at a big event or on camera when i was playing rugby i knew what i was doing okay. when i play golf i've got no idea i think i'd rather hit a tee shot than facing the all blacks <laughs> no, even me. john so let's see how you go on the 13th talk us through it what you're trying to do yeah, so, so again, as mentioned, it is a relatively, relatively big uh, um, green. Uh, you know, I'm always scared of the water. I, I hit a bit of a bit of a fade. I'm hoping to kind of aim just on the left edge of the of the uh, um, green. Hopefully, a bit of a fade, get in the middle center of the um, of the green. That's the plan, but it'll probably end up either in the sand or the water. Yeah, come, positive thoughts. Positive thoughts here. Great strike. Well, that was kind of the plan, right? Perfect. Uh, well, like executed, I said, left, left edge of the fairway with a bit of a fade. Jordan's put me under pressure here. He's hit it to about 20 foot left, pin high. Great shot. So I've got a six iron, not as strong as, as Jean, obviously. Um, but let's see how I go. Oh, pulled it way left. Under pressure there. Let's see how we go. Yeah, I put myself in a pickle here. Yeah, short sighted myself, way left. Got the bunker to carry and the water looming at the back. I'm going to try to get a bit of elevation and hope I can get it to sit. Right, John's hit a fantastic tee shot. What you got left there, John? Talk us through it. Yeah, so, yeah, relatively long, long, uh, long putt here. I mean, the greens here traditionally very quick. Um, moves to the water normally also with a, you know, bit more speed. And I suppose my putt, you know, a little bit from the right, it'll definitely move a bit from the right, maybe straight towards the end. So, I'll start it a little bit to the right. Um, I think pace is a big thing here, so let's see. 100%. Thank you. About a 15 footer, a little bit downhill right to left. I need this for a par to half with John. I pushed it. Five. It's a really solid five. <laughs> 
Excellent three, Jean. Thanks, Sean. Well played. Thank you. Very solid. Very solid three. five as well for you. I, I, I thought I escaped with a five there after the tee shot. <laughs> exactly. Great great recovery shot, but... And then the putting went Tricky all. greens. Yeah. Tricky greens. Well, something to come back for. Guys, I just want to thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for Pearl Valley for hosting us. Remember, you can support Cupcakes of Hope by making a donation. No matter how big or small, you potentially win some prizes. Um, John, thank you so much for your time. It means the world to us, and it's, it's great to have you out there. No, it's fantastic. Thank you so much, like this. It's, so special. it's such a special place. Uh, yeah, so to everyone watching, please please support the charity. Please come play Pearl Valley. It really is spectacular. You have a great day in the Winelands, and uh, yeah, it's a pity we couldn't play more. Yeah, exactly right. So we head off and have a beer or two in the wine. Oh, wow. Let's, let's see, let's see. <laughs> They've got some wine as well. <laughs> Good man. Thank you.